we love everything that makes the string quartet a string quartet. So we love playing a Haydn or a Beethoven quartet as much as anything. And we still do it to the best of our abilities. I mean, just because we've got an interest in other things does not take us away from what makes the string quartet, where it started, what makes it special. In fact, sometimes when we go afield to some of these other things and you come back to playing a Beethoven quartet, it just makes you marvel even more deeply at what makes Beethoven so wonderful. Um, the way that you could take it for granted if you ate it every day. Um, uh, that being said, though, I think there's been a lot of things that we've been interested in trying. One interesting project was, uh, um, since we are of Asian heritage, to look at the way that Western classical music has begun to intersect with the um, Asian world. And there are a number of very prominent, uh, in particular Chinese-American composers, it seems, that have been writing. Um, and uh, we began to explore some of that music, um, not, not just because of our heritage, but because it seemed artistically very, very interesting. The aesthetic of some traditional Asian styles and Western classical music did not seem so far apart. And they, it seemed that the, to us that the combination of them would be very beautiful and satisfying in a, in a completely different way than, than Beethoven. And, um, and, and so that has been fun, and it's felt not only artistically satisfying, but maybe a little bit true to ourselves. I mean, we ourselves, as Asian Americans, have a bit of one foot in each world. Um, then, then maybe then where it sort of branches out more into like the idea of um, making the connections even more important, we decided we would like use it in programs based on a food idea. So we played a lot of these pieces, which happened to be smaller, as little bites of food, and we called it dim sum. So <laughs> after the way of eating, it, it was, it's just a title, it's just a way of people can think of it, but maybe makes it more, that much more approachable to people, just that little cue there. Um, another thing we did, when maybe one of you guys want to talk about, is how we've decided to handle commissioning new music. Uh, we, we've um, had the wonderful opportunity throughout our career to commission music. We feel very strongly about it. It's, it's exciting. We are playing in the tradition of string quartets that have been around for hundreds of years now. We have had the incredible experience of learning from people like the Juilliard String Quartet, the Cleveland Quartet, the Emerson Quartet. It's great to be part of that tradition and to keep it alive. At the same time, we wouldn't be here without the music. And so it's really, it's so exciting to be a part of continuing to build the repertoire and, and hoping that you have some part in creating the classics of today that 200 years from now, people will be saying, wow, the Ying Quartet commissioned that piece. That would be really, uh, I mean, that would, that would be extremely gratifying. Um, in any case, it's, it's fun to work with these composers. Um, we have a, a commissioning, specific commissioning project um, that we call Life Music. Um, and that's, that grows out of our desire to always remember the connection between the music that we play and the way that we are trying to communicate that music and the audience. We want it to say something about our, our shared humanity, so we call it Life Music. Um, we have a grant that uh, enables us to commission American composers, and so in this case, Life Music would mean reflecting in some way, being inspired by some part of American life, American history, contemporary American culture, uh, a quartet about standing on the street corner in Manhattan and just feeling the energy of the city, um, a quartet about uh, just being inspired by what this composer wanted to be the, uh, the character of America. She called it Eagle at Sunrise. This is Augusta Reed Thomas. Um, and uh, she recognized, uh, as she said, you know, this, the, the eagle is our, a symbol of our, our, our nation. And why? Because of the, the strong, brave characteristics that we assign to the eagle. And that's, um, that informs the character of the piece. Uh, so we really enjoyed commissioning over 20 pieces now in this vein. Um, we, we want the pieces still to be the result of the composer's imagination without any kind of limits um, or even necessarily directing it a certain way, but just to be, again, a, a connection between us, 
the music that we play and the audience and the listeners and for it to be a powerful statement of, of why we do this.